Okay, this is the Garmin Edge 1040 Solar. So they finally brought the solar technology that was previously on their watches to the Garmin Edge. Let's check it out. Okay. Let's save this for last and see what else is inside. Okay, these are your usual rubber band mounts and stuff. As well as the... Oh, this is a short one. And it looks like... You know, the ang you can actually adjust the angle. Interesting. Oh, and they have a longer one which is fixed. Hang on. Does this look like it mounts onto tri bars? No, no it doesn't. Oh well, never mind. Let's see what else. More. Oh, these are the rubber mounts. I mean the rubber thingies as well as the lanyard and allen keys. Huh. They gave you a rubber protector. Which is nice. Uh, USB cable. Look, USB-C. Type-C. I don't know whether you can see it here or not. It's Type-C. No longer that old flimsy uh, Type-B thing. So, this is cool. The stickers. And user manuals. Alright. Now, let's check out the Garmin unit itself. Ooh, it feels hefty. I mean, kind of hefty. Metal. Oh, nice. This is a metal mount. So, you know, I've never had a Garmin mount break before, but even still having metal now is nice. And of course, these contacts here are for the optional battery which only works if you are using their special uh their proprietary mount although this looks different yeah i don't know whether this short one can support the battery or not but the long one will definitely support the battery okay Won't start with 64% battery. Hmm, interface looks normal. Okay, I guess at this point I'm just gonna pair it with my phone. Nice. So it's also transferred over my existing sensor so I don't have to do all that pairing all over again. Skip Wi-Fi. Uh, skip this for now. Hmm. Interface looks very different from from the H1030. Oh, okay. This looks familiar. This is different. What's this? Okay, these are the menus. So what if I select load? Okay, so these are the screens that I'll need to... Oh, there's a screen for solar power. So, yeah, there's supposed to be, you know, solar panels 
tiny little things on the screen that help charge the battery while riding during the daytime. So in theory, this gives a lot better uh, battery life, especially for long Audex. So in the upcoming BRM400, hopefully the weather is going to be fine. Then I can give this a good test and see how long the battery can last. So yeah, in the meantime, I'm just going to give it a short test. Hopefully during the weekend when the weather is fine. It's been raining pretty heavily recently. So let's hope for a good weekend. Okay, so I just, I went for kind of a shortish ride just for a test of the Garmin. 1040 solar and uh first i like to talk about the rubber protector it's generally okay but two issues that i don't really like much about it first there's actually no um what do you call you don't really it doesn't really cater for the lanyard so you know i expect there'd be a groove or something for it but that isn't so it's, it's actually just sticking sticking or whatever you call it over there so that's one the second thing is with the with the rubber protector on it's kind of hard to reach in and you know open up the open up the port to access the USB port and you know it, it the, the the what do you call the retention rubber piece gets Kind of pulled so eventually this might break which is also something that happened to my edge 1030 the the rubber retention thing broke so i can completely pull the cover off which is not good but so yeah that's just one worry about it but i feel like you don't really need the rubber protector at all because I don't know. I mean, for me, I've never dropped any of my edge, edges before, and you know that's what the lanyard is supposed to be for, right? <laughs> In case you drop it, you either wrap it around your hand or when you fix it to the handlebar, you wrap the the lanyard around the handlebar. So I don't know if if you're the the type who may drop your edge then maybe is useful but for me it feels redundant so anyway uh the physical side aside um yeah nothing much to talk about because i just had a short morning ride where I can't really test the solar ability i do know that in garmin connect it actually mentions on the ride itself like how much energy the solar thingy has saved although morning ride means not much sun so you don't really save much the real test will be the brm 400 later i think what somewhere two weeks from now i think uh, but anyway yeah brm 400 generally uh the battery life of a gen of a normal edge 1030 is may just be barely enough depending on how fast you go but We'll see how much battery I manage to save for this upcoming Gear M400. That will be the real test of this edge. Uh, besides that, a couple of improvements over the 1030. I noticed that the touch screen in uh, generally the response is a lot better. You know, when you touch something, you almost guaranteed that you'll be using that function compared to the old edge 1000s and 1030s it sometimes you know when you try to touch or when you try to swipe it doesn't really respond that well but this one is a lot better mm, another thing is the maps i noticed it's kind of more detailed and you can actually choose the detail level of the maps which is you know i guess it's great if you are trying to explore or trying to tour and look for stuff but Usually we use our phones for that and more detailed maps probably means more battery life but you may or may not find this useful but yeah anyway these are just very preliminary findings uh, not much to dive into yet the 
I will only be figuring out just how good this is during the BRM400. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to that and I hope you'll also be looking forward to BRM400. And yeah, that's it for my very, very early initial impressions of the Garmin Edge 1040 Solar. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you at BRM400. Bye.